hello friends welcome to my video hope you all were fine in this video we discuss in detail about sites of e-commerce what is e-commerce business and what is e-commerce marketing now let's start our video come with me e-commerce web host hosted by e-commerce web host email web hosting now at 2018 that gave me a rounding of our list we have a2 hosting this web host offer a e-commerce hosting for small woocommerce e-commerce specific features dual firewall system one click setup or most major e-commerce platforms automatic backup and serve and server rewind functionally available for some of their plans beyond the web best web hosting provider PHP hosting, manage Google Cloud, manage Digital Ocean, Magnanto hosting, e-commerce hosting and WordPress hosting, e-commerce web host, e-commerce web hosting, site the e-commerce web host, information for trusted internet source, useful and remunerant, find fast, better results, search, smarter, search, efficient, discover e-commerce websites in USA. 99% March on your success query find here with Vizimo free private and secure search for relevant information instant and personalized result at Vizimo scratch now we see what is the e-commerce e-commerce is the website is the activity of buying and selling goods or service online selling of physical goods and digital product online sale intangible digital products real time opinions ticket sales utility bills and many more about e-commerce the capabilities surpass those available in traditional brick and mortar retail with all the diversity and benefits there is no surprise that over the last year e-commerce business globally has enjoyed steady and substantial growth the tendency is not going to change e-commerce is expecting to keep growing reaching 4.2 trillion dollar in global sales by the end of 2020 according to statista as you see e-commerce does not stand still and keep tucking keep tucking up the share of traditional retail throughout the e-commerce history there were many markets and companies that crashed or went <coughs> that crashed or went let's see how can e-commerce change the global market e-commerce totally changed the global market a good example of e-commerce influence on the trading is the app development industry 15 years ago physical stores were loaded with the various discs with games application and movies but the digital breakthrough made it possible to provide app and movies online. It gave birth to such well-known platform as the Stream, Google Play Store, Apple Stores, Netflix and many more. As a result, you are unlikely to find a CD disc with half-life, with a half-life Alex or Doom Eternal on the shelves of brick and mortar. E-commerce made disc unless useless unsales the same situation take place the same situation the same situation take place with newspaper and magazines you remember that you remember that just about 15 years ago almost everyone want and everyone like reading newspaper printed books every time on the way home during lunch breakfast to find out 
what was going on around but today situation <clears throat> but today situation is totally changed and you can hardly find a store with newspaper everyone has a smartphone in his pocket with the latest news and they don't need they doesn't need to spend time looking for printed copy it also become possible thanks to e-commerce and nearly killed nearly killed the printed news industry so the top so the top magazines and newspaper like forbes the new york times build vogue and other run their website and make money on subscription <clears throat> e-commerce is not going to stop the main thing is that e-commerce is not going to stop it is expected that in future bookstores will go bankrupt due to media libraries they already exist but the tendencies but the tendencies but the tendencies shows the printed books printed books are still highly popular among customers According to Statista, 37% of readers prefer only printed books and 9% readers only e-books. <clears throat> But there is no guarantee that situations won't change in the future. It can happen not only. It can happen not only cause to the influence. influence of e-commerce but also out of the refrustration motives so great benefits of e-commerce for the planet at the might at this might be enough entrepreneurs to consider starting to consider and starting to consider and starting e-commerce business although the e-commerce pulses for both customers and businesses owner are evident it's still it's still unwise to get into the its own minute minuses therefore instead of leaping into action it is better to study both advantages and disadvantages of e-commerce and only then make a well weighed decision want to learn about the pros and cons of e-commerce and how they can affect an online business let's look through the e-commerce advantages and disadvantages so friends these are e-commerce business and its sides hope you like the video if you like the video please subscribe our channel and press bell icon to get the notification of all upcoming videos goodbye and take care we shall meet in our next video